today we're going to talk about MLSS, Mixed Liquor Suspended Solids, and MLVSS, Mixed Liquor Volatile Suspended Solids, and what these numbers together can tell us about how our bioreactors are performing in our wastewater treatment process. Bioreactors, like aeration basins, are critical pieces of most treatment plants. It is the job of the treatment plant operators and staff to monitor reactor parameters to ensure proper treatment is taking place. One parameter is MLSS, which represents the concentration of suspended solids in the mixed liquor of the bioreactor. MLVSS represents the organic or volatile portion of the MLSS. The volatile portion is used to estimate the number of microorganisms present. You see, small particles of sand and grit and other inert materials have probably made their way into your process. And certain events can lead to sudden increases in inorganic loading. This volatile portion can be used as one possible indicator to determine the population size of the microorganisms present in your system, which is managed by the operators. So just because you have solids floating around in your bioreactor, it doesn't mean it's actually helping in treatment. The standard method for the MLSS test calls for drying and carefully weighing a filter pad containing a sample from the bioreactor. To measure the inorganic portion, you'll need to heat the sample again, this time to much higher temperatures, hot enough to burn off the organic matter. What you'll be left with is the inorganic material from the sample. Then you're ready for your calculations. Tracking MLVSS as a fraction of your MLSS can help you understand the treatment capacity and efficiency of your bioreactor and how it can change over time. Tracking the volatile fraction of your bioreactor is easy on the HawkWIMS platform, a purpose-built software solution created by industry experts in water quality. The platform enables seamless integration of your lab, your SCADA, and your operations data, allowing for complex data analysis with just a few clicks. The calculations are easy to set so you can track these changes over time and understand how changes correlate to process performance, helping you maintain compliance. I'm Mitch Ryan with Aquatic Informatics.